back to another episode of Greenlight. We are so glad to see you engaging with us in, in this way. I'm your host, Jennifer Edwards, the Director of Marketing Communications. Um, we look forward to you continuing to engage with us on social media and right here. Uh, so we have a, a few quick updates for you before we get started into this week's episode. Um, first, I know a, a few episodes back, you heard me mention that we are expecting our third child um, any day now. So to start, we're going to officially pass the torch to our head of marketing, Shelly Moister. Hi, Shelly. It's so good to see you. Thank you so much for joining us today. Hey, Jen. I'm so glad to be here. Can you tell us who you're bringing to the table and, and what you have in store for the audience today? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we've got a great episode lined up with Steve. Uh, just going to be sitting down having a candid conversation about a topic that he's so passionate about, the security. IoT is a hot topic. Digitizing the grid is a hot topic. Um, but with that advancing technology, we can't lose sight of security might be the most important element part as part of it. You know, um, we are so glad to have him at the table um, talking about this really, really important topic. Um, he's also gonna share some um, security tips and tricks just just for us as well. So so we're excited, I'm excited to, to see it when, it when it comes together and hear what he has to say. Well, absolutely couldn't agree more. And, um, and Jen, we wish you the best. You're gonna be back before we know it. Um, with that, though, we'll say thanks to everybody for watching, um, and please enjoy the, the episode. Let's take a look at that discussion with Steve. Well, welcome, everybody, and welcome, Steve. How are you doing today? <laughs> doing pretty good. These are unusual times. How about yourself? They are. They are. Well, we're glad to have you here today. Thanks for uh, letting me talk to you today, Shelley, and, and happy to spend some time uh, talking about cybersecurity and security in general. Why is security so important to utilities and municipalities these days? The, the thing that, that really jumps out at me in terms of cybersecurity and utilities and security in general and utilities is everything they do is grounded in their duty to serve their uh, customers and also to serve the community. And so from a security standpoint, you kind of see them focus on, and, and I'll kind of talk about two themes and, and then kind of come back to them. I like to think of it in terms of um, privacy and integrity. So data, privacy, control system, integrity. How is integrity and security, how are they the same? How are they different? How would you explain that? So I would say generally, when you think about security, you're gonna think about it in terms of a broader context. Um, so that can be everything from physical security, personal security, um, uh, data security. When people talk about privacy, usually that's encryption type controls. I'm trying to make sure that somebody doesn't see what's happening. Integrity, I'm trying to make sure that, that if there was a modification, it was done with purpose. Um, and that's kind of the, 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 big, the big difference, I think, on those. Maybe integrity goes hand in hand with the concept of hacking then, right? Changes that don't necessarily have the purposes that we want them to have. Good way to think about it, like is a, uh, if, if you had a letter and, and somebody maybe pulled the letter out and changed it, <laughs> you'd received a different letter than the one you thought you were going to receive. Um, that's, that's one way to think about it. Privacy would be somebody actually takes the letter out of the envelope and uh, you, you, you didn't, you, <laughs> or, or even takes it out, photocopies it, put it, puts it back in, you never even knew. Building on that then, um, what should utilities be considering as they're evaluating all these different technologies from a security perspective, um, especially in light of the fact that cybersecurity is becoming a hotter and hotter topic, um, and especially, you know, in the world that we're living today with, you know, kind of COVID having changed how we're operating. So what you'd want to see is that is your does your supplier have a proper supply security development lifecycle program? Um, and, and utilities are usually pretty good. Uh, utilities of all sizes kind of throughout the globe are pretty good at asking the right questions. Um, but then just being uh, able to understand what, what, what do those answers mean and be able to vet them more, that, that's, a, that's a critical part of that. What we're seeing with COVID is, is it's a lot more uncertainty a lot more uncertainty, uncertainty equals volatility. So then we're seeing a lot more volatility. And as the knowledge-based economy has kind of exploded over the last uh, six months, um, that, that also includes the, the tax space. 
So people are working from home more, um, and as they're working from home more, the attack surface is bigger. The one that, that has happened a lot over the last couple of years is um, the increased phishing attacks where somebody's sending you an email with a link or some, some way to get you to click on a, a document or, or, or a link um, that, that, that can, can have some adverse effects, but also uh, ransomware, which is <laughs> it's kind of a fancy word for extortion. This extortion type attack on utilities is something, and COVID, the fear is that this, because there's more knowledge-based economies, because a lot of these crime syndicates that, that operate a lot of this have gotten a lot stronger, that you're going to see more of it, uh, that kind of attack targeting critical infrastructure like utilities. Knowing that you're you know, talking with utilities every day, right, um, and discussing their security approach with them. Um, are there, you know, particular things that you encourage them to be looking for and thinking about? Operationally secure is what matters. Can they meet their operational goals? And then so do all of the, does the full offering work in a way that can integrate with the infrastructure of the utility to meet all their operational goals? And I think that's the one I, I usually like dial it back to that. What about, what about red flags? Are there any red flags that they should be looking out for? Um, I think the first one is is the um, is the solution proven? Um, is it proven for the scale of the utility? And that that's every size. So even for a small utility, is the security appropriate and proven? Uh, for the larger utilities, of course, this becomes obvious. Is the security mechanisms built in such a way that the full broad infrastructure shows that it was baked in from the beginning, that it wasn't a bolt-on? So you, you start seeing a, a full sy systemic architecture that allows them to meet their operational goals. Everything's automated in such a way that, that the utility doesn't have to kind of worry about that. Do you think that um, cybersecurity has really evolved over you know, the last five, ten years especially, um, not just to become a, a priority, but to become, you know, a, a box that they feel like they must check when they're making these sorts of smart grid technology decisions. Uh, and they're looking for a full systemic offering. Um, and, and I definitely believe that um, the utilities have, have a much deeper understanding of what they expect. Um, from the companies that they're interacting with, all the way from supply chain security to um, what happens all the way on uh, post-deployment. Before we let you go, would you mind just kind of bringing it all together and sharing one piece of parting security advice? So I would recommend making sure that you ask questions so you understand what the language is and what's being said. The second thing I, I, would, I would mention is that um, right now there is a lot of increased uh, attacks going at, at mostly at corporate enterprises, a lot of the, the um, uh, ransomware type attacks I was talking about before, these attacks prey on human nature. Um, they're, they're looking for greed, fear, or desire to help are kind of the three common ones. Um, so if, if you kind of, you, you'll get a sense, <laughs> and you sense that something is kind of playing on those emotions, um, it's a good time to be cautious. I'd be remiss if I didn't close by, by definitely thanking all the security professionals at all our utilities that continue to work with us because that really makes, that, that, that puts me in a position where I, I can, I can uh, uh, talk to you more openly and help LNG provide more safe and secure products. And for a topic that, you know, does seem like it takes so much expertise to understand, those two pieces of advice are a great starting point on it. So thank you for that. And thank you so much for joining us today. It was wonderful to have you on Greenlight. And also a big thank you to our audience for joining us as well. Uh, you know, we hope that you'll join us for the next Greenlight. And in the meanwhile, uh, if you'd like to stay in the know on what's going on at Landis and Gear, engage with us on social media, um, lots going on there. And certainly if today's um, video was helpful to you. You're welcome to share that with others. Uh, also, below there's a form that you can fill in if you want to request more information on any topic. And with that, we'll say thank you so much for joining us and we look forward to the next one. Have a good one. Bye everybody.